okay so today we'll be deploying a wordpress help chart with argo cd and uh, our work station will be the same i'll be using a kind kubernetes cluster with the uh, metal lb installed on it so you can get that from here i have created my workstation let me see let me, let me show you kubernetes get nodes or wide so as you can see i have three nodes one is the control plane and two are the worker nodes okay let's start we will be installing argo cd in our cluster it will create the namespace and also create all the resources necessary to create argo cd so we will be waiting till all the resources that it has created are in the running state let's check our resources for argo cd kubernetes get all namespace argo cd and we can see all the resources are in the running state let's move forward for the argo cd to utilize metal lb we have to change the service type of argo cd server from cluster ip to load balancer for that we have to edit the service file in the kubernetes kubernetes edit service argo cd server namespace argo cd in this we will have to find the service type there's the service type cluster ip we will change it to load balancer save it and the service file has been edited to reconfirm let's type kubernetes get all namespace argo cd and as we can see the argo cd server load balancer has given us an external ip which we will be using to access our kubernetes our argo cd ui advanced proceed okay for the username it's admin and for the password we have to do one thing i have also mentioned that step here for the password we will be using this command kubernetes namespace argo cd get secret argo cd initial admin secret output json path data dot password okay base 64 and this is our password we will copy it let's go to our argo cd ui paste it sign in so we are in the argo cd ui first of all we will be going to the settings repositories connect repository via https and we will be selecting helm here name let's give it a name wordpress project is default repository url for the repository url we will be selecting charts.bitnami.com slash bitnami connect and the connection was successful after that we will be going to the application new app or the application name let's give it a name wordpress website 
project name is default sync policy is set to automatic rune resources checkmark self heal checkmark auto create namespace yes we will be creating a new namespace for this application going forward in the repository url it's giving us charts bitnami.com slash bitnami in the charts we will be selecting the wordpress and for the version 17.0.5 and in the destination we will be using kubernetes default svc and for the namespace as mentioned earlier we will be creating a new namespace by the name of wordpress as you can see it has uh, generated all the values from the health chart and you can go through it let's create it so the sync is complete it is now processing and creating our wordpress website pod also the mariadb stateful set so as you can see all our resources are now in the ready state and are all are healthy to cross reference let us jump to our terminal and let us see that all our resources are in the ready state and yes we can cross reference from here all are in the running state we will pick this copy this external IP we will go to the browser and paste it here let me refresh yes it's working now let us go to the admin page slash admin and here the username is user and the password for the password we have to run this command in our terminal kubernetes minus and namespace wordpress get secret wordpress website output json path data dot wordpress password base 64 and this is our password we'll copy that go to our login page for wordpress username is user password is given login and now we can log in through our to our admin panel you can also update and in a bit it will update and we can see that uh, our application works as expected so as you can see we have now upgraded to wordpress 6.3 which is the latest version that's all. Thank you very much.